On today's episode of Things You've Probably Never Googled Before, the history of paperclips. The common paperclip was invented over 120 years ago and it hasn't been improved since then. Why? Most everyday objects have evolved significantly over time, especially in the 20th century where practically anything can be revolutionized over the course of an average day. What makes paperclips so different? If you could go back in time to the 1900s, you'd be amazed by how much has changed. You would marvel at how much technological advancement has happened in one century. Cars would look like chariots. The average key would look like something out of a Lord of the Rings movie. But if you'd walk into an office and find stacks of paper held together by good old paper clips in their simple glory, it would probably be the only thing that looks the same to you. You'll wonder how an object so small has managed to evade the clutches of time and technological advancement. And the answer to that is a little something I like to call, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The paperclip was made so well that it has not needed an upgrade in over 120 years. Now that's every manufacturer's dream. Before paperclips, the straight pin was mankind's best solution to holding paper together. The straight pin is just that, a straight pin that pierces into stacks of paper in a feeble attempt to hold them together. This genius invention didn't last too long, because while the iron pins were cheap and easy to use, there was the issue of rusting, not holding papers together, and injuries by piercing, to just mention a few issues. <laughs> It had to go, it had to evolve. Enter the paperclip. The invention of paperclips was made possible by the development of low-cost, industrially produced steel in 1855. This steel had the right balance of strength and flexibility to make tracks, pipes, wire, and nearly every other piece of 20th century metal infrastructure. Manufacturers milked this new supple steel wire for everything they could. Springs, safety pins, barbed wires, rust-free hooks, clothes hangers, and of course, paperclips. By the last quarter of the 19th century, patents were issued for nearly every shape of steel wire that could be imagined to be useful. Before the invention of the paperclip you're familiar with, several inventors used this new steel technology to make various designs of paperclips, most of which never made it to the commercial market. Some notable paperclip designs were the Wright Clip, 1877, the Niagara Clip, 1897, the Common Sense Clip, now that's a name, 1900, the Wells Clip, the Owl Clip. However, one design managed to stand out in the sea of endless paperclip designs. The gem paperclip, which is the common paperclip. An efficient design that holds papers between two long loops with the torsional force of the bent steel wire. This paperclip design was invented in the 1870s, but if you Google the first inventor of the paperclip, you'd probably find a Norwegian man by the name of Johan Waller. He was a Norwegian patent clerk who invented a paperclip design similar to the common paperclip design. He filed both a German and American patent for his design in 1901. Unknown to him, a more efficient design, the common paperclip, had already been in circulation in England since the 1870s. His designs never made it to production and his patent eventually expired. There have been several other unproven claims to the invention of the modern paperclip, but it remains unclear who actually invented the design. Side note, the common paperclip does show up in an 1899 patent, though it wasn't a paperclip patent. William Middlebrook patented a machine that could make wire paper clips. In one corner of his patent drawing is the clip his machine would make, the gem paper clip. But why is it called that? It's called the gem paper clip because Middlebrook invented his machine for the gem company in England. Pretty interesting, right? If you watched till the end and enjoyed this video, you're probably a nerd like myself and would like more of this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more of this. See you next time. Thanks.